All right, so this is the current project that I'm working on. Um, so for the longest time I was using this and all of the cables were just running through it. And so I procrastinated and put off making proper connectors and a patch panel for the longest time because I wanted a better solution than just drilling holes into this. We all know that eventually you're gonna add or remove or change connectors and you're basically have to make gonna have to make a whole new plate so I quickly slap this together um, basically 30 millimeter slots uh, modular so rather than so rather than uh, having to change the whole plate you just modify one of the slots I'm gonna have like a blank one left over probably gonna have it with a little fan in it or something like that I don't know but um right now in this video, I'm going to be machining this guy. So that's uh, a dual RJ45 plate. One is for the, well, let's open it up. So one is going to be for the UC300. And one is going to be for that breakout board, which controls my solenoids. So I have an Ethernet cable going to my PC and then another one going over to here where it syncs whatever solenoid it wants to turn on to ground with a bunch of relays inside of here and uh, yeah that's how the rack and everything else works so um hopefully I didn't fuck anything up too bad I guess we're just gonna hit cycle start All right is the is the compressor on Yeah, it's on. So I have a bunch more footage of me machining the other parts, but I'm going to have to edit that video and it's probably not going to come out because I don't really have the time. So I figured at the very least I would just make this video. So that was a one eighth inch two flute drill, a 90 degree point, and this is a 2.5 millimeter single flute.
So that was a one millimeter step down. I forgot what the step over was. fast. That was a 130 seconds ball end mill to flu. I thought I was rubbing before. Maybe uh, the triple was actually too high so I raised the feed rate. Not sure if that was a good idea. It's a good edge finish. See if I could do this without having to pause and record again. See if we can take this off. No, oh, almost. That should be good. Yeah, you know. Okay, here we go. So, see what we have. This 
So that's decent. The end mill isn't very new. That actually turned out alright. I thought I was feeding too fast on the engraving. Um, I started doing countersinks with just a chip break drilling on the chamfer tool and it's been working out great. Uh, I used to chatter but I slowed it down. Uh, I'm going to share in the description the speeds and feeds that I used for this part but um, yeah, let's see that inside wall finish. I think we have some, uh, I don't have a deburring tool, I might have to use sandpaper, whatever. Alright, so um, yeah, I apologize for not making an update video, uh, but hopefully this will let you guys know what I'm up to. I still plan on making it, hopefully that'll be done by then, and I'll, because I have a lot of share with the machine, I'm very happy with this performance. But uh, yeah, it's already long enough. Uh, thanks for watching.